Good day. Here are some problems related to our topic, Review of Thermodynamic Cycles. Problem number one. A power cycle has a total heat input of 1.3 kilojoules and a thermal efficiency of 35%. How much will it produce? In this problem, we are given with the heat input which is 1.3 kilojoules. Also, we are given with the thermal efficiency, which is 35%, and can be written as 0 0.35. The unknown quantity in this problem is the work that is produced, or simply the work of the cycle. The solution in solving this problem is to find a quantity that relates the given as well as the unknown quantity. And that is our equation for the thermal efficiency. Our equation for thermal efficiency is given as work cycle divided by the heat input. And we can rearrange that so that we can get the desired a known quantity which is the work produced or the work cycle. So by rearranging this equation, we can get thermal efficiency times the heat input as equivalent to the work cycle. Plugging in the value from the given, we can get the value of the work that is produced and that is 0 0.45 kilojoules. So our final answer would be, the power cycle will produce 0 0.455 kilojoules of work. Let's proceed to problem number two. A heat engine that propels a ship produces 500 BTU per pound mass of work while rejecting 300 BTU per pound mass of heat. What is its thermal efficiency? For this problem, we are given with the work that is produced, and that is 500 BTU per pound mass. It's also given here, based on the phrase rejecting 300 BTU per pound mass, the value of the heat rejected, or the heat that is going out of the heat engine, and that is 300 BTU per pound mass. The unknown quantity in this problem is the thermal efficiency. So our solution would be to solve for the thermal efficiency. And that is using the formula work cycle divided by Q in. As you can see, we have the value for the work cycle that is in the given. However, we do not have the value for the work for the heat that is added or the heat input. So that is why we need another equation so that we can solve the Q-in. So we will use the relationship that work cycle or work produced is equals to Q-in minus Q-out. By rearranging that equation, we can get that Q-in is equals to work cycle plus Q-out. Therefore, we can get the value of the thermal efficiency by substituting the value of Qn, and that is work cycle plus Qout. So in this working equation now, we can see that we can solve that by substituting the value in the given. Thus, our thermal efficiency is 0 0.625. Therefore, the thermal efficiency of the heat engine is 62.5%. As you can see, this is a very good thermal efficiency. Now we will proceed with the last problem, and that is the net work of a power cycle is 10,000 kilojoules and the thermal efficiency is 0 0.40. Determine the heat transfer into and out in kilojoules. Based on the problem, we are given with the work produced or the work cycle, which is 10,000 kilojoules. Also, the thermal efficiency is given, and that is 0 0.4. The unknown quantities are the heat added or the Q in as well as the heat rejected or the Q out. 
our solution would be based on our equation for the thermal efficiency, which is work cycle divided by Q in. By rearranging that equation, we can get the value of the Q in. Substituting the value from the given, we can get the value of the heat added or Q in as 25,000 kilojoules. Therefore, the heat transfer into the power cycle is 25,000 kilojoules. For the Q out, we can use the relationship work cycle is equals to Q in minus Q out. By rearranging, we can get Q out is equals to Q in minus work cycle. Thus, substituting the value of Q in as well as the value of work cycle, we can get Q out as 15,000 kilojoules. As you can see here, the Q in is greater than Q out, and that is true for all power cycle. Thus, the heat into the power cycle is 25,000 kilojoules, while the heat out of the power cycle is 15,000 kilojoules.